look, uh, I don't even know where to begin. Now, obviously, I'm a Boston Celtics fan. I think you guys all know that from my YouTube name, Mega Celtics Fan 33. Um, it's just a shame, you know, how the Celtics have been doing recently. Um, you know, first we lose to the New Orleans Hornets. The New Orleans at home. We're on. We're in, we're in TD Garden and we lose to the New Orleans Hornets. The Hornets. We lose to the Hornets. Really? You're doing something wrong if you lose to the Hornets. Exactly. We're doing something wrong because we lost to the New Orleans Hornets. Then we lose to the Bulls. Then we lose to who knows who. Yo, who did we lose to after that? The who? Who did we lose to? I don't even know. We lost to another team. The Pistons. We lost to the Pistons. The Pistons. The Pistons. We lose to the Pistons. Then we. <sighs> Yesterday, who did we lose to? Oh, just the Cleveland Cavaliers. Who's their best player? Kyrie Irving. What's wrong with that? He dropped forty points on us. He dropped forty points. 40, like, nope, not 39, not 38, not 37, 40. He, he's a great player, do not get me wrong, but he's dropping 40 points. This is just like, you know, back when LeBron was on the team. And what, didn't he almost have a double-double too? Didn't Kyrie almost have a double-double? Like, damn. You don't have to be like, you know, going off on us, I mean... Come on, that's, that's that's racist. I mean, is it because is it because we're the boss? Is it because we're the Boston Celtics? I think that's why. Now, I'm just gonna say this once and once only. If Danny Ainge does not make a trade by the end of the week, we're not gonna go anywhere this season. We probably will not even make the playoffs. We might not even make it to the playoffs next year if we don't make a trade or anything like that. Players that I would trade. Jeff Green, Jason Terry, Brandon Bass. That's maybe even Chris Wilcox. Not so much, but maybe Chris Wilcox. Um, but if we don't make a trade, we're going to be like the Detroit Pistons. Used to be a stellar team. Used to be an amazing team. You know what happened after that? They became a mediocre team. I don't want to be a mediocre team. I want to be a good team, not a mediocre team. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the Detroit Pistons. I want to be like the OKC Thunder, or the Miami Heat, or the San Antonio Spurs. I don't want to be the Clippers. I wasn't even talking about the Clippers, but I don't want to be the Clippers. I want to be the Celtics. I don't want to be the Lakers. I want to be the Celtics. I don't want to be a Heat. I want to be the Celtics. I want to be the Celtics. And the Celtics. Are used to winning. This is not winning. This is this is the bobcatting. We're bobcatting right now. We're losing. We don't do that with the Boston Celtics. I mean, you can't be losing to teams like the New Orleans Hornets or the Detroit Pistons twice in one year. What? I mean, we can't be losing to teams like the like who do we lose to? Um, the, the, the Nets, we lost to the Nets, this was back when we had, when they had Avery Johnson, this wasn't even after that, we had, yeah, we lost to the Bucks twice, and one of them, we had a 17 point lead, how did we lose that game, I don't know, maybe because of our inconsistentness, the only player that's consistent on the team right now, Jared Sullinger, Jared Sullinger, a rookie, Jared Sullinger is, more consistent right now than Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Rajon Rondo, everyone. He's the most consistent player, most efficient player, most hard-working player at this very moment on the Boston Celtics. Really? 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 He's the most consistent player on the team. It's not even, like, I would have expected it to be Paul Pierce or Jason Terry. Maybe even KG. No, it's Jared Sellinger. Who's the second most consistent player? I don't even know. They're all inconsistent. Maybe even Rajon Rondo is. Who knows? The only player that's consistent is Jared Sullinger. 
And, I mean, it's... What is this? I mean, this is not Boston Celtics basketball. Like I said before, this, we're, we're playing like the Charlotte Bobcats. We're playing like the 06 Boston Celtics. Now, I've been a Boston Celtics fan. I've always been a Celtics fan, but I never really watched a basketball until 2006. And that was the year that the Boston Celtics did absolutely terrible. I think we were the worst team in the Eastern Conference that year. And then we uh, got Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. Then we won the championship the next year. That was great, but I couldn't watch the finals because I was all the way in Lebanon. Oh, and that reminds me. Whatever happened on Darko Milicic? He went all the way to Europe or Turkey or Spain. I don't know. Isn't Turkey in Europe? I don't know, but he went to Europe. And who were we left with? Mm, Jason Collins. And how did Jason Collins get on the team? Oh, because he was he released by the Atlanta Hawks and signed by the Boston Celtics. And... You know, that reminds me. What did I have to Keon doing? Oh, wait a minute. He retired. Why did he retire? Oh, yeah. Because we had to release him to make room for Jason Collins? Really? That's the stupidest thing I have ever heard. For Jason Collins, we released Keon. At least release someone that's not valuable to the team. Or don't sign a non-valuable player. A.K.A. Jason Collins. We still have two roster spots open on the team. But nope, we don't want to make a move. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like... What is this? Stupid remote. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like... I don't, I don't know what this is. But if we don't make a move, if we don't play with more intensity, we have KG and we're not playing with any intensity? Really? This is just like the Ravens not playing intense with Ray Lewis on the team. It's just like that. Just like that. What is this? I mean, it makes no sense. It makes no sense how this works. It does not. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. <sighs> Look, I don't even want to. Oh my god, I don't even want to get into this conversation, but I have to because we're playing terrible. Look, I don't want to make this video too long, too, too long, but if we don't make a trade or if we, lo we lose, if we lose next game, I don't know who we're facing. I think we're facing the Knicks. I don't know who we're facing, but we're facing the team. And if they don't win against that team, you better expect another ranting video. Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. I've not seen a worse team since 2006. And this is just... And we had a good team. I thought we had. I thought we were going to have a good team. Nope, absolutely mediocre. You better turn this around. I'm still going to be a fan. You know, I'm not threatening to not be a fan anymore. But you better turn this around if you even want to win a championship in the next, like, eight years. Well, that's it for my ranting video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Man, I don't even know what has been wrong with the Boston Celtics lately. Lately, I just don't.